Hello, hello. Welcome to the stream. Give me just a second to get ready. All right, so, uh, yeah, let me just, How do you write steel? Oh, with double E, okay. Yes. Um. All right. Oh no, it's already 11 p.m. Okay, today it's going to be a uh, 
uh, a modeling stream again. Uh, so let me begin. Hello, Birxos. Nice to see you. Um, all right, time to start. So, hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to the 18th stream. Uh, it's it's going quick <laughs> um, of the space station game. I still have no idea how to call call the game. Let me just see. Okay, the audio is good. Yeah, it is. All right. Um, and uh, yeah, so before the stream, yeah, by the way, on yesterday, uh, this is going to be a modeling stream. Uh, so I'll, I'm going to be outfitting the outside of the station mostly. Uh, but yesterday I did, I made some more uh, materials, some more uh, hotspot materials that I can put anywhere now. Uh, oh, made a tester. I, why, I didn't, why did I not <coughs> make confirm that I completed this? I don't know. Um, and yeah, I made it some cloth materials that look cool. There, there is one. I just put it on this, on this thing uh, with wrinkles on the edges. Uh, which turned out to be really good. Um, yeah, it's a very like Soyuz-like material, and yeah. So I made that one. I made some radiator panels out of pipes in uh, <laughs> in Blender, and by by baking uh, like those uh, um, yeah those uh, coolant loops in Blender on on one plane. And then I made some, uh, what, interior panels without latches? Oh yeah, just the interior panels, but without latches that I can put on some props. And then I also tried tried them in game, and that was it. And then today, what I did before stream, sexy as fuck, yeah. <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, on stream today, what I did, uh, uh, before stream, sorry, uh, I'm getting uh my mind is getting fogged <laughs> uh okay let's focus uh, stretch a bit okay i'm ready so uh i added now today i added hotspots to all the hulls so previously if you have seen how how it looks like it was just like i applied some generic texture and i didn't have hotspots and now I've actually made all of them into hotspots, so so everything can you know can use any of the materials that I have made so far. Uh, I could, and I've also isolated the inside, and I made this nice uh, clean metal sheet for the insides of the of the modules. Uh, well, you're not really going to see these clean metal sheets most of the time because there are uh, interior stuff going on, but maybe sometimes I am going to. Be, like the player is going to be able to see them uh, yeah in some modules they are actually visible so I made them I it's maybe a bit too shiny and I might reduce the shininess but actually I will only be able to see that when I'm in game and I actually see it how it looks like there um, yeah so for the exterior panels uh, you know basically everything here is, is hot spotted now uh, I've cut them uh, by seams and added and but yeah some of them don't have very good <laughs> textile density uh, consistency as you can see this is way bigger than this so mm, I'll see how it looks like in game you know maybe it's not such an issue the only issue is that you know this texture has very clear pixel per pixel normals uh, yeah I want to look at these clean metal sheets <laughs> Uh, I want to look at these clean metal sheets. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean you want to look at? Uh, but anyway, yes. So today, uh, also besides making everything hot spotted, some of them, some of them are like you know really look cool. <laughs> like uh, yeah, what uh, this one is like a bulkhead of a cargo module. Well. Well, uh, this one is actually based on the real one, uh, on the ATV. Um, 
ATV ISS inside. You can actually see this bulkhead behind if you look at the... Yeah, this is the cargo craft. And basically the cargo craft, there is a, there is a representation of it. Uh, so yeah, basically on the back side of the pressurized module, there is this bulkhead, right? This, this just a flat metal plate. And there are some photos which I can't, which I don't see now, but of the, of the clear metal. And you can clearly see, I think it's, yeah, it is this one. You can clearly see it's just like a metal, you know, piece and, and that's it. Uh, which is, you know, pretty amazing because you don't really see a, uh, just like a metal sheet behind. But there are some pictures that you can uh, find, like uh, ISS uh, rack behind. <laughs> I don't know. Hmm. ISS rack, well, not behind maybe, but uh, like... It's actually impressive when you see the back side of the space, like... Uh, the inner side of the pressure hull because it's not something that you typically see in the photos um, maybe in this one yeah for example this this uh, ML uh, MPLM yeah not MLPM MPLM MPLM is just clearly just made out of this sheet sheet metal that kind of looks like that is the shiny one uh so yeah this is ki kind of what i based it off uh oh yeah the, here this one also has a flat sheet at the back side oh there you can actually see a person flying uh where is where is this photo yeah there you go look at that oh yeah here you go. Ah, it's actually slightly corrugated or something. But yeah, you can see that at the back, <laughs> at the inside of the pl pressure plate, there's actually, uh, you know, it's just a sheet metal and that's it. And it's actually surprising how big these things are. Um, and, you know, when when a when an astronaut is just standing there and, you know, this is like a four point something, um, a diameter but actually the most of the inside of the station you see these panels these like racks on the sides so imagine that there's like four racks around uh, that's why that's why it's kind of small but actually the whole volume is is pretty pretty huge anyway uh yeah they look good i want to see them in game yeah <laughs> uh i haven't seen them in game yet but uh, i will once i export everything but before that i want to make a few things uh, or maybe should I export? <laughs> uh, wait, you know, because usually on the beginning I show what the game is. Huh, let me think about it. So yeah, I added hotspots to all the hulls. I made a steel hotspot material and I, I also made this 2.2 uh, or well, I just call it 2 meter because it's approximately 2 meter uh, part. And this one is kind of based on the um where is it on the on the mere docking module like this one so it's just like a a small module that is more like a spacer between uh between the station and uh, and docking vehicles uh, in this case it was used by the space shuttle uh but yeah this one th this is the only piece that also has kind of like a a little bit of a spherical hull although there it's just like one polygon <laughs> But yeah, I was just testing. So basically, uh, you know, I can just replace this because everything is using the same material. I can just replace this with either, you know, uh, this kind of a white cloth or I could just use a, <laughs> you know, the normal, uh, the old, the old version of the hotspot. Um, I can put some radiator pipes even. Uh, you can see them, you can see them, uh, you can see the normal, the normals of them here. Um, you know, I could even uh, put these steel, the pure steel on top. So yeah, I can now just replace materials and, and uh, yeah, and I can even do that in Godot. But right now I actually put all of them to have this, um, 
this uh, yeah because when i export i actually want to keep them having the same uh just hull hull hotspot material as i call it okay so there we go uh and yeah by the way this is the last thing i did i i wanted to try yeah i also added this part which is like uh very similar to what is used on the russian uh, uh segments uh it's kind of a legacy from the TKS spacecraft, like this one. Uh, wait, there are some good photos, reference photos that I found. Uh, projects, not K, ref, uh, where are these references? Oh yeah, by the way, I found this super interesting post about, <laughs> this is from a post about, like, our, uh, what's the color of, uh, spacecraft <laughs> which is super interesting and yeah like during ASTP the Soyuz was actually green like the it had this green cloth it's clearly green it's not just uh, like a mistake of the camera because yeah this whole discussion is about like are these colors real or are these just uh, photo mistakes and this one seems to be fake you know this is I think just reflective um, but then the lighting is completely green or the white balance is off and uh yeah this one is also gray everything is mostly gray and then yeah some parts of the stations like this is solute 7 i think yeah it is this one had this orange cloth which the same one that uh, uh the docking port the, the mirror uh, docking module had and i actually like this one i i think i'm gonna make a material with with this kind of one as well Oh, and Soyuz uses the black one. And yeah, the older Soyuz used the green one, that's for sure. Uh, this is the front, the docking the docking probe. Uh, yeah, this is from, I think, from their moon program, basically. From their lunar program. Uh, they, yeah, this one. Because they wanted to have no internal, do an internal passage, just docking with... Uh, uh just docking ba basically just uh latching onto another spacecraft that was the what they're imagined and this is a super interesting one with like the out the outer shell is has this weird texture right it's like orange but it's only that's going to be covered with the cloth so yeah so that's not really uh what you uh, ever see um yeah and then you can see that the voskhod before soyuz was actually just steel ball and also probably the yuri gagarin's um yuri gagarin's uh what was the name of it shit i forgot <laughs> before voskhod there was a what was what was his craft i forgot anyway uh that one was also steel ball, steel ball probably uh yeah and then yeah some interesting discussion anyway uh yeah added a two meter hull and yeah today i'm going to model some external parts uh the rcs tank frames which are which are these uh and radiators some dedicated radiators and solar panels finally and I'm going to finally add the window frames. So not just have holes like this in the cloth, but have actual window frames. Actually, I might I might start by modeling those to just kind of get hyped for it. Uh, uh, Apollo has very nice steel hull too. Yeah, yeah. The external shell was steel to like reflect the heat as much as possible. Um, and I think, I can't remember if, I think the Orion also has... The new one, uh, spacecraft. I don't. I can't remember if, yeah. As you can see, it is bare battle. Uh, is it? It looks like. Yeah. Well, at least in the renders. But yeah, sometimes they change between renders and real life. And but yeah, this one, I'm pretty sure that it it is actually just a steel hull. Um, uh, so yeah, this is the new spacecraft. And in, some, in the older renders, they have it painted white. But actually, in uh, in reality, I think the one that flew, uh, that one was white. Uh, was just uh, 
There it is. This is the this is the real one, no? Or not? It it, it looks a little bit too far from the moon, but maybe that's uh, yeah. So I think this is the reflective, but it's this kind of a weird color is going on. Anyway, um, so yeah, what about the Boeing Starliner? Oh yeah, that one is painted white actually. So this one is, yeah, that is when it was approaching the space station, right? This is not a render, no. Yeah, this one uses a similar uh, covering like uh, the space shuttle. So this is not cloth. This is actually like thermal insulation blocks on the outside. <coughs> All right, so uh, yeah, interesting. Interesting materials in space. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so yeah, maybe I should start by loading these up, but I'm afraid that I'm going to sp spend time like adjusting materials and stuff. Uh, I was thinking about maybe just naming this material, the ins inner material, uh, into a steel welded. Yeah, I'm going to say... Uh, let's make a copy of this actually. Well, if I make a copy, yeah, let's just call it Hull Int Hot Spot. Okay, so yeah, that's the interior now. Um, uh, and for the cupola, I didn't actually make it shiny. Oh yeah, for this ball as well, I didn't make it shiny. Um, let's make it hull and hotspot. Ooh, look at that! <laughs> look at that shine. Uh, oh yeah, I also made I also made like the welds on the edges, so that would look like good. Uh, how do you create textures materials? I create them in um, in Material Maker. Material Maker is this free uh, free software and open source that is actually made in Godot, but it's like a procedural uh, thing where you can create your materials procedurally. And then I have oh yeah no not these uh, I don't actually want the heated tiles. Uh, let's see, metal hotspot. I think this is the one. Oh, rescue f file was found. Oh, right. Yes, rescue because I didn't save. Can I now load? Oh, no, I've actually lost it now. But I think I actually saved. So that's safe. Right? Yeah, yeah, it is the same one. Uh, so yeah, this is uh, I made it in this in this one procedurally, and uh, I ended up using some of the textures from CG textures. Um, but yeah, here is for example the the metal for. Uh, but yeah, I, I had to make these ridges, and I made some. I, I made a little bit of like uh, uh, I smoothed out the edges. So if you can see, like like. How, how would I say the area inside each of the tiles is smoother you can see that the middle is shinier so yeah I made a little bit of like uh, so that you know you have a little bit of variety yeah uh, but you see it doesn't look so shiny in here uh, oh this is some other some other thing that I was trying out uh, but not not finished and then yeah here is the wrinkled cloth that I showed uh, so yeah here you go and then you can see that these are like individual dots pixelated ones what's popping awesome uh, yeah and each of these I made procedurally so yeah I tr I'm trying to make them procedure well some of them for example radiator pipes <laughs> for the radiator pipes I actually made them uh, I actually create I made this these pipes in blender and then I baked them so yeah to make it uh, look like radiator pipes but yeah it's not great actually I need to I need to improve it a bit I think that the radiator pipes need to be a bit smaller but anyway yeah 
That was fun making. I was I was doing this yesterday on stream. Okay, so um, yeah, let's go. Quit Material Maker. Yes, didn't change anything. Uh, let me export this. But first off, I actually want to clean up a little bit uh, the export file. For example, I don't need this anymore. I don't need the old hull sphere. Uh, and for some reason, my computer is starting to get slower again. <laughs> Uh, I hope it's not because of Material Maker. Okay. Uh, so yeah, let's try to actually move this. This is the new one, right? Yeah, I actually call this Sphere New. Wow. Uh, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna move this to junk. What's junk actually? What is it? What what is it? Uh, collection. Okay, I need to turn it on. Aha, uh -huh. Hull Sphere, Size Cube, okay, Hull Sphere, New Try, Hull Sphere, okay, let's, let's make a new <laughs> collection, formerly exported, <laughs> okay, so into, instead of putting it into junk, I'm just gonna put this into formerly exported, so yeah, I'm no longer using these models, so, yeah, they should not be visible anymore. Uh, let me turn this off so that I can... Yeah, and this, these ones, the old docking rings are also formerly exported. Uh, not using them anymore. So let's just move all of them into formerly exported. Okay. Uh, let's see. Cupola. We have the hull. Okay, let's check everything. We have a 4 meter bulkhead, adapter, okay, and I'm thinking if I should rename them, but I'm afraid that, you know, because I'm using, I'm, ch I'm constantly changing my naming, <laughs> my naming standards, and I'm actually afraid that I'm going to break things in, in Godot, and I'm afraid of spending hours on fixing these uh, issues, so I don't want to, I don't want to actually change uh, names. Um, okay, okay, we have this transition, we have, oh, this is a copy, which I don't need, I was just testing here, oh, by the way, I was thinking, I can actually make a new collection, I'm going to call this, um, uh, yeah, it's actually in the helpers, but, um, non-export. So these are the things that I want to see, but that I'm gonna not gonna export, uh, basically. And I can actually put it here, so that, yeah. Like don't export or something. Okay. Uh, so yeah, this one is just so that I can, because I was working on this piece, right? So I want to see how it transitions. That's the only reason why it exists. Don't export. Okay, hull tube. Uh, yeah, this I need to rename. This one is small. This one is hull tube. Let's use the new naming scheme. So I'm not going to say tube. I'm going to call it 3M. Uh, I don't know. How do I call this <laughs> shape? <laughs> Conic something like that how do you call a cone with with two sides two-sided cone maybe there is a name for that uh, and this is yeah that's not for export this is the bulkhead this is a port that's good and I also need to make sure to export to name the mesh as well, which is annoying, but yeah, hull 3M conic. Well, the conic is not really. Widened. 
how would you call like a thing that widens <laughs> There must be there must be a you know extrusion. Well, extrusion is not great. Um, okay, how do you call things? Some jutted, jutted meaning uh, extend out over or beyond the main body or line of something. Uh, jutted synonym. Okay, maybe I can find that. Uh, protrude, project, poke out, poked, overhang, uh, something like that, something like that. Uh, protrude, protrude meaning, no, protrude synonym. Jut out, stick out. Uh, 29 synonyms. Bulge, oh, bulge. That's a good way. <laughs> that's a good. Uh, that's a good term. Poke out, jut, obtrude. Yeah, let's call it bulge. A rounded swelling which distorts or others flat. Yeah. But uh, I mean, would the bulge be something like a spherical one? I don't know. Uh, let's call it bulge. Nice. Let's just check bulge synonyms. Bump, lump, protrusion, prominence, projection, eruption. Uh, 67, jump, nodule, wart. Yeah. That's all very medical stuff. Gibosity. Yeah, that's the one. Uh, outgrowth, pouch. <laughs> uh... Mm, lump yeah I think bulge is good but bulge sounds spherical that's the that's the problem that's the problem um, yeah I'll keep the bulge for now bulge okay uh, so this is the small okay and this is actually going to be called hull 3m bulge uh, hey man, hello sleepy, nice to see you. Bulge, this is trans. Yeah, this is the one that is a copy. Hull 3 2M, nice. I already renamed that. And this is Hull Adapt 2M port. Uh, no, it's actually port 2M because I decided to go from smaller to, to bigger. Uh, small control. Okay, everything else is good, I think. I think it is. Okay, everything has... Let me just check one last time if everything without the interior walls... If every Oh, this one doesn't. Okay, so I should replace everything with the metal. Uh, yeah, hull interior. Okay. And yeah, this one should also be hull interior. Let's look. Let's see how it looks like. Hull interior. Ooh, fancy. Nice. Looks good. Uh, okay. And you know these. <laughs> uh, yeah, these should also be like that. But doesn't matter because it's never it's never seen in game anyway. Uh, sometimes I. Uh, sometimes I raised the the these rims, the one the polygons that join. Sometimes I didn't, so I'm not exactly sure if I want to or not. Um, so yeah. Oh, and this one shouldn't be exported. Also, this is just a this is just a just to see how it looks like when it has a ring. Uh, okay. Anything else that I want to export to change? Okay, I changed this to... Re uh, oh yeah, the inside of the cupola. That one should also have a int. Hull int. Ooh, look at that. 
<laughs> it looks terrible with this uh, uh, when it's not when it's just reflective. Yeah, I have to change this. I have to change the 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 inside space, the inside uh, facets, kind of. But yeah, I I think I'm gonna do that today because I'm gonna add a window as well uh, with the seals. Oh, and I didn't actually hotspot this correctly this should be split because yeah it doesn't co it doesn't really hotspot correctly here uh, okay let's do that let's do this yeah let me actually go into this mode so that i can see it clearly more clearly uh okay yeah There we go. Uh, these are all going to be seams, and let's see how it hotspots. There it is. Mm. Yeah, they're kind of skewed here, but I think it looks better with the line here. Or maybe. What if I, what if I do this? Uh, what if I cut there and then make this? How would that look like? I wonder. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it like this for now. Let me remove these. Okay. Well, I'll I'll have to correct this when I add windows anyway. All right. So that's done that has two okay let's check let's go through all the objects and check if they have correct materials okay 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 oh this one only has one oh this is this one yeah this one i don't know it doesn't really need the inside but yeah i'll keep it without inside for now um uh, there it is i've changed all of them cool okay then we have the okay so i've removed the old docking port so i am going to actually move that move that to formerly exported uh okay there we go interesting that it actually doesn't okay that's good formerly exported goodbye uh, and we have docking port new. Uh, let's actually rename this to docking port old. And this is now going to become the docking port. Okay, there we go. And here we have, what is this? Ah, this is the hatch that I don't want to export. Don't export and then call proxy all right probe ring and then there's another ring somewhere oh yeah this this part this ring actually let me move the cupola up because now i can now there's nothing in the way uh let me put it at a precise location five okay something like this uh all right and what else is there cupola okay port active yeah what is this what is this yeah this is another one that i don't want to export uh small call okay port ring yeah this is the ring and then the passive the passive catch and what is this? Aha, uh -huh, this is the this is the this is the one that I use for making the port with geometry nodes. Um yeah, formerly exported. That actually never exported, so I'm gonna just say none don't export. Okay, there, I've cleaned up a bit. And what is this? Passive hatch. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, this is another hatch that I was just testing. Don't export. Okay. So now 
uh, and what is this? Exterior walls. Uh, of course, interior walls. Sorry. Uh, yeah, let me actually see. These are all the interior walls, and they all use this generic hotspot texture right now. Maybe I should turn it to panels, but this is good. I mean, I can see how it looks like with the uh, with this one. Uh, so yeah, maybe I'll just keep it. I might just keep it. Okay, and then this one doesn't have an interior. Oh, it's because it's one of those don't export things. And what is this? Aha, this cube should actually be in the hull, but it's actually not ready yet. So let me just uh, put it over here. That's the truster block. Uh, yeah. So let's hide it. Don't export. Well, I don't have to hide it actually. I think this is good. I can turn on the hull. That's all my stuff neatly uh, packaged. And this, yeah, this should actually be called hull cupola. <laughs> but okay, I, I forgot to name it. Uh, save that. Uh, let's select everything. Is nothing hidden? No, nothing is hidden. Uh, export as GLTF. Uh, I go to art, tube, and that should be it, right? There we go. All right, so let me launch Godot. Uh, I hope I actually for <laughs> committed this. I need to remember. Uh, okay, eight local changes. Okay, yes, I added the steel, steel hotspot material. Uh, stream and to do, yeah, that's normal. Let's open limb space. And this always scares me because I think <laughs> there's something wrong. But actually, this is normal. Like, it takes some time to open it. Okay, let's see. Oh, something is happening. Something is happening. Uh, what does it say? Art, steel texture detected as used in 3D. Enabling mip map generation and setting the texture compression mode to VRAM compressed. Whatever. Okay. Texture detected, texture detected. So is it automatically? Yes, this is a problem because it's automatically importing everything. But I don't actually want to do that. Uh, I don't want to use that. I want to use my own. Okay, so there we go. We have, we already see that the hull, hull's hotspots kind of work. Uh, let's hide this output. Aha, uh -huh, we can see that the steel did does it already have okay it does have the steel but it doesn't i don't think it actually works correctly uh, we'll have to <coughs> we'll have to change that uh let's see so uh art yeah i should have okay it's starting to be really hard to find things okay tube so let's see uh there are some there are some models that need to be exported, some new models. Uh, let's see, set mesh save paths. I'm gonna go to meshes, select current editor. Tube hull 2M, 3M bulge, uh, adapter port 2M, uh, tube internal 2M, tube internal adapter 2M port. Yes, uh, these are all the ones that need to be exported. And I'm going to set those and re-import. Okay, let's see. <laughs> wow, it takes such a long time.
Okay, re-imported. Uh, it's good that nothing is broken. That's a good sign. <laughs> and uh, yeah, for materials, I want to actually direct them into... There it is. Here is our nice new metal. Uh, okay, I want to actually X to point it into my custom texture instead. Uh, I'm going to say path is hotspot materials. This is cloth white. There it is. Oh, why did it flip around? I don't know. Uh, okay, and then for the um, interior, I want to say also external. Uh, and let's see, that's hotspot materials. Uh, steel, it's called steel welded. That's the one. Okay, there we go. For the seals, there, there's the seals. And for the interior, well, we don't really have a good one. Metal hotspot. Oh, what is this metal hotspot? Who is using metal hotspot? I don't know. But anyway, uh, yeah, let's re import. Wow. Why is it so slow? Uh, yeah, and the, for, for the sample hotspot, this is actually the interior. This is actually my interior, but okay, it doesn't matter for now. Okay, let's replace that and see if if I'm going to have to replace everything now. Very important again. You should enable donation for more RAM. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why why like in the last week everything worked fine. And it's only this time that it started like uh, why is this thing, what is, what is this? Why is it, why is it 45 degrees? Is it, it, could it be the fire extinguisher? It's probably the fire extinguisher because that's the only thing that's, wow, <laughs> it is actually fire extinguisher. I have no idea what this is even. Uh, maybe it's the particle, the particle, um, like some kind of a bounding box. I don't know. Anyway, uh, so let's see. The hull tube. Okay, that's the cut one. No, I don't want it. I actually want to see. Uh, yeah, let's try the compartment. Oh, by the way, the compartment. Mm, yeah, for some reason. For some reason, this is uh, the geometry is not the original one. Why is that? Material overrides. Who is overriding this material? Okay. Surface zero. Hull hotspot. Hull hotspot. Interior. Uh, what is going on here? Why is this some other hull tube porthole? What? Okay, strange. Oh, that actually removes it. Okay. Uh, well, this is the correct material that should be on this. Service material. And there's nothing surface more material override. So what the hell? Oh, there it is. This is the material that is overridden. Okay. And, uh, and where is the other one? Where's the other one? Oh, that's the other one. Okay, so here is my steel hull. Okay, so yeah, let's not use a new one. Uh, okay, so I guess I have to go into every prefab now. Do I? No, this one is actually using, uh, well, the inside is not. Okay, surface uh, material override uh, geometry. Uh, it's so weird in Godot. Like there's three levels of overrides, right? You can have the original mesh, can have surfaces, uh, can have materials applied to them, uh, and then you can have also uh, the geometry instance can have material overrides, and then the uh, where is this? And then there is another one which is like surface material override. So there's two overrides, 
on top of the original one uh, and it, it becomes uh, quite confusing uh, anyway here it is uh, material there it is okay so now it is it is as it's meant to be the steel material on the inside okay let's go for the next I would love to be able to also like just uh, you know temporary oh yeah this is new oh here we have our strange material port active there's three metal hotspot oh I've actually applied metal hotspot on this one uh, but metal hotspot is the wrong metal hotspot okay so instead of what I'm gonna do is uh, let's let's see metal hotspot yeah it should actually be hot post it should be the steel welded uh, this one ah, why doesn't it wait a minute why is it why is it overriding two ma surfaces uh, okay let's I have to I guess put it individually catch active come on wake up wake up Godot now it's refusing to work catch okay Here's the hatch, uh, and what does it say? Surface one, two, surface material. Okay, let's override this with this. There we go. Well, it doesn't look so good. Oh, and this one should actually be uh, sampling should be nearest. Ooh. Oh, you can only see the welds basically. Yeah, that's strange. Well, I'm gonna fix it later. Uh, let's see, anything else? Radiator pipes. Yeah, I actually did do that. Um, I think that the metal... Hmm, what if I use the metal? Metal hotspots. This is some old one that I think I don't use anymore. Uh, metal hotspots hot post as they call it yeah this one is not not that bad so I'm just gonna use this uh, okay there we go we have that one as well let's see let's go port drogue this is the old one that is no longer used but it still has a mesh that's interesting even if it's not included uh, this one is, yeah, this is the new passive one, looks good, fire extinguisher, that's a prop, this should actually be in props, but I'm afraid to move it, <laughs> I'm afraid to move it, uh, oh, I don't like it that it doesn't actually, ah, I would love to be able to only open a single window at a time, and not have them stack all, uh, on top bulkheads oh this one is also wrong uh, let's remove the overrides uh, visibility global illumination geometry uh, where is it where is the override I keep forgetting is it in the mesh oh how is it using the bulkheads wait yeah there's something wrong here wait did it export hull hull for a bulkhead yes it should have two materials is it using a wrong a wrong resource oh shit this is a copy this is some copy because it's like a ray mesh Oh no, no, this should actually be, uh, this should be, let's find the bulkhead mesh, there it is, yeah, there it is, cool, okay, so the resource is that one, there it is, okay, cool, um, okay, let's go to prefabs, adapter port, <coughs> No, not that one. 
Uh, I need to go to the uh, adapter port 4M. That looks good, except the inside is not good. Uh, shadow mesh. Let's see. Overrides. No, it's actually. Oh, there's no overrides. So this is good. This is not good. Small trans. There it is. Okay. This is the old sphere. Uh, is this the old sphere? No, this is the new sphere. Okay, so for the new sphere. I'm going to make it. I'm going to kill all the overrides. Hmm, transitive. Kill the override. Trans short looks good. Hull tube. Yeah, let's <laughs> let's not do radiators. Uh yeah. Hull tube cut. Yeah, this is good. Porthole. Porthole is good tube small it doesn't have correct outside uh, okay there it is small control that's into big is good big cut okay cargo craft yeah this one should have a complete c okay it doesn't have it's not correct on the inside so yeah this one and it should probably be this one yeah it should be that good module core uh, yeah I think it has steel all over the place and by the way the new thing is we have if we have crew compartments on both sides yeah now yeah we didn't have that before. Uh, yeah, so the uh, this thing in th the cab, the cab interior, I have to actually rebuild. Uh, ah, why is the transform rotated? There we go. I have to rebuild the uh, static mesh, the static body. Uh, I'm gonna do that with uh, where is the mesh menu mm, there it is Tr create a new tree mesh there we go uh, module small that looks fine oh nice inside port active hatch yeah that one we oh I didn't actually change it the hatch the hatch itself should have a material override of steel uh, okay well I don't care about it now because it's already in the port uh, passive hatch looks good probe looks good and ring looks good okay that's all the prefabs I have now I wish I could close all close other tabs okay so yeah you can actually close all let's go to main and I'm gonna just gonna say close other tabs nice cool so you can actually close them okay so there we go our entire station is now white except for those that we actually overridden in the in the scene uh, so yeah looking good looking good let's check out the interiors the interior steel Ooh, reflections did I actually put reflections reflection probe inside the inside the cupola? I haven't. Let's say I'm actually mostly interested in how does the steel ball, the sphere look like. Okay, so finally after one hour of uh, streaming, let's run the game and let's see how how it looks like, how everything looks like.
and then we can go on to model other things yeah I'm gonna start with the window with the s windows okay so whoa whoa what the hell <laughs> oh it has rotated because I I, un I unrotated <laughs> the crew compartment now <laughs> okay this is funny yeah I need to actually change the module now yeah well that's the problem but look at that look at that interior shiny hull that looks amazing with all the reflections going on and look at that light uh, from from the uh, neon bulb over there yeah it is funny because you should never really see this oh my god look at that you, i can even see outside because this this uh this part lacks the outside uh that's so funny uh, this one part, part uh, lacks the inside surface uh, yeah like this is something that you should never see because it's behind the behind this behind the panels but now we can see it and it's glorious <laughs> yeah this looks uh, this looks like a real puzzle space station yeah look at that oh yeah I can't move anything outside because there's no walls well I could always yeah and there are the portholes yeah it is, actually looks really impressive really nice okay here's the hiccups going on uh, and yeah the funny thing is this crew compartment is actually correct <laughs> compared to the uh, to, to the other one that is not correct so yeah this is the back side uh, so yeah this crew compartment should be there that's correct but the other one is blocking the exit completely okay <laughs> oh it's skipping outside because there's a there's a collider nice that's that's such a fuck up uh, so pretty yeah <laughs> so pretty but but like one-sided okay so let's see what the, what's over here Ah, oh, why oh is it jammed no it's not jammed it's just a little bit complicated to open okay ah this one actually has the uh the cloth on the inside okay so i have to actually go to the other side <laughs> okay uh let me quickly actually ch uh, fix this fix this uh, rotation uh so i have to open the core module and i'm going to fix this rotation there it is uh, what has happened here I think it needs to rotate this way okay but yeah this part is not yeah this is the the crew compartment this is not the crew compartment okay I'm going to remove this one actually and instead uh, I'm going to add the four meter straight compartment which didn't exist before here okay so int big uh int big i think it's this one so let me drop it in here and it's already there but it's wrong rotation so i'm just gonna flip it this way there it is and well it's really hard to see but i think that's it i think that's the correct orientation okay so let's see in game all right there we go uh let's try it in game What's this? Never noticed this before. I don't know. Anyway. Oh. Oh. What was it? Oh. 
Well, now everything is... Ah, okay. <laughs> About. I'm not going to click. Okay. Come on. Come on, computer. I have no idea what's going... Why, why is it so slow? Like, a week ago, everything was fine. Is it dying? Is the computer dying? Okay, yeah. Oh, look, we have some light from the sky. Cool. And look at that. Look at that. We actually have a flat panel. No more weird crew compartments here. Uh, and we have some handles as well. They're strangely dark, which is a little bit annoying. Uh, but yeah, this one should be usable yeah and uh yeah look at that oh the crew compartment actually has this metallic hull <laughs> on the outside maybe i should add some padding or maybe not maybe i should keep it uh you know for the for the crew so that they can they can be like wow so cool <laughs> uh okay yeah and nice look there's actually there's actually skylight coming in skylight the sun is is shining uh okay uh and yeah actually i can turn off the lights randomly uh well it takes some time there it is oh wow it is actually is it reflecting or is it just this this thing i'm not sure uh I'm st okay. I want to believe that this is this is actually GI of this working. So just go. Yes, there actually is GI. Wow. Wow. Look at that. The skylight, the sunlight is shining into my station, and it's actually reflecting and wow that's actually pretty impressive yeah maybe you should start here in this uh, in this crew compartment why doesn't it why can't i what's up with this uh oh oh the window is here there's a hole in the collider yeah i need to redo the collider again but yeah let's do it after after i uh, make the window and yeah, you can see a little bit of the module there, but it would be cool to have like a a, a a spacecraft over there or something that's, you know, the player can see. Nice. And also nice reflections. Uh, okay, so yeah, let's uh, turn on. The oh, you know, we can actually create uh, light switches now. Now that I have button yeah i can press l to like randomly switch off and on lights but yeah now that i have uh, now that i have interactions i can actually switch individual lights ah yeah i completely forgot about that uh yeah i should i should make uh, proper switches then i don't know where should they be actually maybe here on the side i don't know yeah something like that something like that anyway anyway that's the game as you can see you can fly around uh yeah let's let's actually go outside of the station uh oh yeah oh yeah what i noticed one thing by the way oh this still is stuck okay let me remove this lamp because uh i keep forgetting to remove that <laughs> I keep forgetting that this hatch is getting stuck on this light. So, yeah, I don't need this light uh, for now. For now, let's turn it off. Uh, and what about something, some other things? Well, okay. Yeah, the reason why these, uh, these don't work, these handrails, because they're not colliders by default. They're not colliders in, on the top. 
Uh, yeah, but I can use these colliders. I can use the other ones. Classic. Classic colli classic handrails. Yeah, and I was thinking... No, yeah, let's just keep them like this. Let's just keep them like this. This one is floating a bit. Yeah, the problem is that everywhere I have these like... Uh, <laughs> these cupboards that do nothing right now, but... It would be nice to actually have them work, have them functional. Yeah. I can arrange some handrails everywhere. Uh, maybe they're too big, I'm not sure. Okay, I'm going to put one here for now, but there's going to be a computer over there. So, not not yet. But yeah, just because it kind of looks nice. Yeah, I should definitely make a smaller version of this handrail. Because this one is too big. Yeah, maybe this uh, handrails can be part of the internal, of the internal, uh, of this. Uh, how do how do you call it? The, in, the 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 walls, the internal walls. Something like this. Okay. <laughs> Let's see how that looks like. And yeah, what what was the? Oh yeah, I wanted to remove this jammed thing. You know, I don't need this uh, this tester anymore, interact tester, uh, because yeah, I know that the buttons work. So that's that's old. Uh, and what is this interact test? Another interaction test. Is this an item? No, this is just a. This is this was actually the first interactable I made. Uh, so yeah, let's let's remove that. And this is the one that I can take. This is the item. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Let's put it just down here or something, just so it's not in the way at the beginning. And these buttons as well. I can remove these as well. Yeah, I don't know if I... Okay, I'm afraid of actually removing anything. <laughs> so, let me save these as like test test stuff. Uh, let's add a child node. I'm going to add a new node 3D. Um, let's put it on top. I'm going to call it test props. Uh, and let's see. Let's add that into here. Interact test. Interact test. Uh, what are these? These are some buttons as well. Shape with sub shapes. Yeah. Uh, test props. Okay, let's also collapse these. Maybe I can hide them so that I can see when I'm putting them in. Clutterbox, this is another test of buttons, and this is a test. Everything is a test for now. Uh, this button, also a test. Static body, okay, let's move that to test props. Fire extinguisher, item test. Yeah, okay. So, cleaned up a bit now. 
and uh, and remove this. Okay, let me actually submit everything to fork. But the problem is, uh, it has actually the auto automatic importer has added these like materials which I don't want. So yeah, these are all hotspots. No, these are actually the ones that I want. But cloth wrinkled, cloth green wrinkled. Yeah, this is something I don't want. Uh, it's just taking up space. Okay. Delete. Man, everything is so slow suddenly. Has anything broken? Doesn't seem so. There's definitely something weird going on. Uh, light fixture props example atlas. Uh, so yeah, let me actually see what has been added. Um, cloth, tube cloth white, tube cloth white, tube cloth white, this one. Is it possible that, that OBS is doing some weird shit? Let's try to shut down everything. I hope fork is not the the culprit. I mean, it's still nothing. Let me see how the what's task manager doing. What's the memory like? Even opening a task manager takes forever. Come on, what the fuck? <laughs> Runtime broker memory six out of 16 gigabytes is it now okay OBS is definitely using a lot of memory and 18 per 18 percent of C C CPU Oh, this is GPU. Interesting. Okay. Uh, well, I don't know. Let's hope. Okay, now it's fast. Good evening. Going into lurk mode. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Um, flood. So, yeah. I'm just setting up. Uh, I don't know what was going on, but uh, it's my computer just started chugging. Uh, tube cloth, I want to remove this one as well, tube cloth, okay, tube example at least, well, tube seals, tube seals, actually I do have seals as a separate thing, right, seals, yes, so I can actually remove tube seals, and tube welded as well, uh, metal corrugated. Oh, this is the old one. This is the old stuff that I can clearly remove. Oh, it said something like uh, used by stuff, but I can't. <laughs> okay. Oh, interesting. So, so it actually tells you. You can. If something else is, there is. I think there is a thing where you can um, tools uh, orphan resource explorer. There it is. Maybe that's how I can do it. Hotspot materials. Okay. Black paint's not used, but I actually need that. Panels plain. Uh, okay, not used by anybody. Light fixture MM owns a zero. Uh, interesting. I can probably delete this one. Uh, delete. Permanently delete three items. Why three items? 
I don't want. Oh, I, I oh selecting actually removes things. Uh, okay, light fixture mm. Okay, light fixture mm. Owns. Uh, okay, black paint. Yeah, this is not test materials. Hotspot light fixture. Yeah, did I? I actually used light fixture. Yeah, light fixture is separate. Uh, this one not. This one not. Test material. Test material not used by anybody. Audio. Yeah, audio not used. Tube hull sphere. This is the old one, but I'm gonna keep it. Uh, okay. Yes. Let's delete this. Okay. <laughs> like, oh, jolt license not used by anybody. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep the licenses. All right, so let's see if main even shows correctly. Or are there missing materials? Seems like, seems like everything is okay. All right. So, uh, yeah, let me actually submit everything. Yeah, I removed a lot of things. Mm, let's see, art without hotspot. Yeah, there's not many things now anymore. Hotspot materials. I should probably you uh, move materials to a separate thing. Okay, so yeah, here we go. I'm gonna submit everything. Uh, hot spotted all objects, all hulls, and fixed materials. Removed a lot of junk. Whoa, 85 files have changed. Okay, so, uh, well, okay, let's, you have seen the game, it runs fine, let's shut it down. Uh, oh, why did I actually shut down? I actually wanted to try it with the, what, with the new, uh, with the new handrails, how does it look like? So let's, let's run one more time, and then I'm gonna shut it down, and and start modeling, start doing the stuff that I intended to do. All right, here we go. Here we go. So yeah, the first thing is that I want to do is I'm gonna make the, the window seals look good. So yeah, uh, by the window seals, I mean the frames. Uh, yeah, so window frames right now, they are not, not existent. Uh, the windows are just like holes, <laughs> as you can see. Uh, but yeah, I want to make them uh, prettier with a nice ring. Uh, and also in the cupola, it should look good. Okay, so here we go. Here we go. We have some... Oh, I still have some legs, but uh, much less than before. Uh, and yeah, oh, look at that. This, <laughs> this, this door is open. I should also lock all the external external hatches, but I don't I don't care yet. Uh, I don't care uh, so far. I don't know what's going on and why is it so much slower than before. Again, even with nothing, 
Even with just VS Code. Well, maybe it's actually VS Code that's ruining everything. Oh, and look at that. I just flew out and I can't go back. But I can look at how pretty the station is. Yeah, I wanted to actually see it from the outside. Oh yeah, let's actually go to the cupola. Let's go to the cupola. Uh, this is the back side. This is the forward. Uh, oh yeah, look at those. Uh, look at those handrails. They're way too <laughs> polished. Sort of. I don't know. Maybe they need to be less polished. And this dark metal is way too dark. I have a feeling. Uh, yeah, and it needs these need some ring, uh, some some frames as well. Okay, so oh look at that! Oh, oh, look at that shiny shiny interior! Wow! Oh, that is shiny! Look at that! Oh, like the entire ball is now focused on me, right? But what is it actually reflecting? There must be some light. Is there a light here? Oh, it's that light. It's actually reflecting this light on the other side. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it looks epic. It looks epic. But actually, in in real life, I think they're. Uh, oh yeah, the 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 hatch also now has a uh, has some cloth on it, which is cool. Uh, oh, and the interior of this one is pure metal. So let's let's see how that looks like. But I think it doesn't have a reflection probe. So, oh yeah, and it's completely dark. So let's turn on some lights. There we go. Oh, look at that metal, that that bulkhead. <laughs> so it's all pure. Oh, oh, it's lagging again. Is it possible that it's actually VS Code? That's totally possible. Hmm. Why the hell does it work so so slowly suddenly? Could it be the reflection probes? Because that's the only thing I added in the meantime. Actually, that could be... That's a possibility. Could be reflection probes. Okay. Uh, yeah, I wanted to see how does the inside of the cupola look like. Mmm, look at that. S shiny steel. Shiny steel. And now it's all it's all clothed on the outside. Can you actually see the cloth? Because I've chamfered the edges a bit. Ah, you can see the cloth. Uh, you can see the edges. That's actually good because I don't want to see you to see the edges. I want... I want you to be able to see stuff that is going on... Uh, like you should be able to see uh you know spaceships docking and everything from the cupola so that's good and there there's my colleague <laughs> well in the future uh that's what i'm planning to have your astronaut colleague for wave you through this through this window uh so yeah nice nice everything everything looks good uh, cool. So I don't know what what's the still purpose. What's what's the purpose? What's the purpose of life? Uh, what's the what's up with the this lag? But yeah, I'm gonna shut it down. Okay. So um, today I'm gonna go into Blender now. I didn't change anything, right? Oh, I did. Tube hull, tube port hull. Mm, okay. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> Not sure. I'm gonna override it anyway. Okay, so uh, what's the plan for today? Now I need to start VS Code again, just to be able to see my uh, to-do. All right. So uh, modeling RCS tank frames that I already started with this one, uh, and uh, and I want to do some radiators that are on the surface and also some uh, solar panels and but I'm going to begin with wheel window frames I did write here spacecraft uh, screw module and service module but I'm not gonna work on that yet 
uh, and then some props that these are just the stuff that I moved from yesterday but requirements change all the time so now I'm gonna work on the window frame so uh, yeah uh, basically I'm gonna start from should I start from an actual window maybe but basically I need a ring uh, let's let's add let's have a new should that be part of the hull I think that's going to be part of the hull or maybe as a separate object okay let's do new collection window frames okay for now I'm just gonna work in a separate collection so I'm gonna start with a cylinder and that's gonna be a <laughs> 16 sided cylinder maybe let's see how much that is how much that costs <laughs> so yeah how how big are actually this ah no I actually use a 12 sided 12 sided cylinder for all the portholes so yeah let's actually go with 12 sides and what about the cupola the cupola was actually probably not 12 sided oh it's actually not even it's six sided <laughs> it's not even circular okay well I'm gonna go with uh, 12 sided as I did and let's punch a hole inside inside of the cylinder so we make an inset and then we simply raise these and I'm gonna take this and put it over here that's it here's our window frame job done <laughs> uh, okay make it thinner and we're gonna apply the seal texture my god it's already half past 11 uh, half past midnight I wasn't planning on doing that <laughs> uh, okay uh, let's uh, let's apply a seals there it is this is gonna be a seam here a seam here and let's actually try <laughs> no that's gonna be terrible uh, let's oh maybe 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 let's do that so I'm just gonna do a dream UV but I'm gonna use a hotspot the seals hotspot for that let's go with one and hotspot whoa it actually used the perfect <laughs> wow <laughs> that was actually perfect uh, I wasn't planning that it's going to pick the right texture that I was planning to use as well and by the way reference for for uh, for uh, for windows let's grab some so yeah how should a window look like it should look sort of like this it should have this inside uh, that's one thing oh yeah this is another one you see it has these bolts on the outside looks cool uh, and yeah inside it has these seals um, is there any of the porthole of the insides I think there is one photo of this is the sphere yeah here is one uh, from you know seeing the other astronaut as I said uh, yeah this one you can't really see the ring yeah not very good uh, oh this is this is a crew compartment with a nice bed it looks as if it's horizontal but of course it's upright and they have these bags the sleeping bags with face cuts yeah modeling this is gonna be fun uh, and you can see the porthole here barely uh yeah but yeah oh and there is a there's a maple leaf as well yeah so something like this 
let's make it uh, let's make it smooth and I'm gonna use a, a auto smoothing but I need to increase the there it is all right so the inside hmm mm, why does it not work uh, okay no I'm gonna do a seam yes the inside is going to be whoop why is it using this one ah interesting interesting that hmm the hotspot actually didn't work does it have any kind of a hotspot tool atlas size what is this inset pixel amount texture size hotspot texture size it's actually 512 okay there it is now now it actually worked okay so it didn't work initially for some reason maybe because it wasn't smooth uh, okay let's see the seals all right and now I should put it between these between these two and there we go we have our window seal uh, how big are the pixels okay something like this okay and then I'm going to have glass in between of these so here we go it already works <laughs> totally works okay let's make these uh, these uh, points okay so I'm gonna need to use the normal so that they can see it better let's make this in the middle uh, yeah something like this hmm it's not actually it's not actually the right size uh, how often should they repeat they should repeat for each for each polygon no something like this good good but now it needs to be wider ah. okay let's align this so that it looks consistent okay there we go what if I use aha uh -huh, there is a little bit of a bevel here bevel okay something like this perhaps sure okay that doesn't look bad oh and it's the same thing on the other side uh cool cool we have a window we have a window and on the other side <laughs> it should be the same maybe maybe or maybe it should use another another piece this is the external one I can use these uh, small nuts maybe it can be smooth no it's too smooth it's too boring aha uh -huh, maybe like this mmm interesting something like this cool okay so let's see how thick it should be uh, yeah it needs to cover the whole thing 
the outside and the inside but yeah maybe it doesn't need to be all the way outside because this is the MLI the the um, the protection layer but on the inside it should cover the whole thing so yeah this is the minimum oh this is actually the big window yeah let's use this window for the porthole actually not for this oh the porthole is actually huge as well <laughs> I forgot uh, okay so let's make this go all the way uh-huh yeah maybe I can make this a slightly thinner uh, so that I don't have such a thick window something like this and then we have the insulation on the outside Yeah, let me actually see how it looks like. Uh-huh. Yeah, if I made this piece slightly thinner, Yeah, something like that. There's a chance of leaking, of leakage. But let's hope it doesn't. Uh-huh, there's also a little bit of uh, screwed up normals. But that's fine. I think we can live with that. Uh, all right, so the window doesn't need to be that thick now it can be thinner there we go but I'm gonna use the the nuts as the inside here we go Okay, something like this. Looking good. And now we have the cloth kind of going over. Not bad, not bad. Okay, that's gonna be window frame. Uh, big I don't know let's apply the scale good evening oh yeah I thought some there was something else in the chat uh, okay let's make a copy of this and now use it for the other windows as well should I add glass by the way maybe I should already okay let's add glass because I'll forget to add it later. Okay, I'm gonna move it slightly inside. 
and yeah to the inside of this thing and fill and I'm gonna make another one and fill oh it's this it's the same fill yeah it should be right next to the rubber no or I don't know if it should be here okay let's put it in this gray area on the outside All right, I'm going to flip this one and that's going to be window. Glass. Yeah, let's just call it glass window. Uh, and let's add some transparency. Oh yeah, I need to flip back to Eevee and add transparency, custom properties, blend modes, uh, alpha blend, I'm going to go with alpha blended, shadow modes, um, we don't need shadows, uh, back face culling, oh, did I actually make it this should be a sign oh no this should be this good and i'm gonna make the alpha alpha should be zero there we go it's very very transparent but roughness should be zero oh it doesn't actually work like glass okay maybe it needs alpha a slight a little bit of alpha there we go. Interesting that alpha completely kills the reflection. I don't know if this is uh, this is actually realistic or not. Because a clear glass should also uh, reflect. Okay, that should be on the outside. Is it? It's really hard to see, actually. Mm, nope. I should flip around. Flip, 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 flip. Okay. Can't see the reflection. Oh, there is the reflection. I just it's just so dim. Okay, let's uh let's increase the alpha a bit so that they can see it at least. Okay. Uh and yeah, let's I'm gonna save this. See how it looks like. Yeah, looking good. Looking good. Okay, let's make a copy and I'm gonna now let's see if I can actually just scale it down and reuse for this. Okay, so this case it's much easier because these are just the same, these are on the same plane, on the same polygon. They're not in between two polygons like the previous, the previous window. Uh, okay, and I have oh yeah, this is super thick. Yeah, let me actually isolate these two. So thick. Oh, 
Okay, it should be something like that. Yeah, looking good. Looking good. And a little bit higher. Okay, let's see how that looks like. Hmm, not bad. Do I even need <laughs> multiple types of windows or is it just this one? Yeah, maybe I can do everything with this one. Okay, let's do let's do the porthole. I'm not even going to apply the scale of this one because this might be the same the same scale as this. Uh okay. Let's take those two. Whoa, the rotation of this one is huge. Uh, okay, let's see how this goes. Yeah, this one needs to be so thick because it needs to cover the entire porthole. But it is a lot bigger. Yeah, I think this is way too big for for like crew porthole. Hmm. And why is the inside why is there a break in here? Ah, it's because of the boolean. That's why. Okay, so there's going to actually be a... Yeah, I actually need this one as well. That thing, and I also need to pick up the window. Let's isolate these. Yeah, so that I can see through the compartment. Uh, yeah, maybe I can flatten this part a bit. I'm going to fake it. How does it look like in real life? Okay, there's like a blanket. There's some kind of a blanket inside. So this is essentially going to be the first thing that you're going to see. Let's make it a little bit better. Yeah, I want to make this window a little thinner. You know what? Let's apply this. Let's apply that boolean. That goddamn boolean. Mm. Where is where is the boolean? Okay, so I'm gonna let's keep this just in case something goes wrong. And I'm gonna keep it in helpers. Okay, and then this one I'm going to apply. So I'm going to apply these. Wait, this uses geometry nodes. What? But it's not doing anything. Yeah, the boolean. Yeah, it's the boolean that causes this to break up completely. I see. 
Okay, I'm gonna apply the boolean. And let's fix these normals. Let's fix these normals. Maybe I can add a little subdivision. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that won't work. Okay, let's add a subdivision like this. That's all going to be hotspotted anyway, so I don't care about how good it looks. Uh, and let me put, yeah, subdivision, subdivision here. And I'm going to subdivide the other side as well. Let's subdivide between this. Yeah, also, let me. One more thing. I want to actually completely delete this inside because I don't need it. Don't need it anymore. Uh, am I in UV editing mode? I am. So let's go. <laughs> let's not use UV editing mode. Uh, 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 uh. Those three things. Uh, yeah, let's see. Let's see what's going on here. Mm. So I basically want to make this a little thinner, but I'm also only going to push the inside of it. Uh, let's. Oh yeah, I could actually put push this thing. I'm gonna flatten it, flatten it, and push it inside. Hmm. Yeah, and I want to fl flatten here. Okay, let me <coughs> select the inside and I'm gonna, the outside, I'm gonna hide it for now. Uh, just so that I don't select something accidentally. Uh, why won't it select this? Ah, because there's no, there's no this. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, I made a subdivision here, but not here. Okay. That was my problem. Okay, here we go. So, subdivide this. All right. And now I can move this slightly inside, but I'm going to make another subdivision in between these. Yeah, something like that. It's all completely broken now. Uh, and you know what? Let's actually remove everything. Do I have any kind of a special... No, I don't. Okay. So I can actually safely just delete the entire site. Good. 
And also this side. Good. There's a few vertices missing. Okay, and then I'm gonna... Ah, and I forgot that there's... <laughs> there's the outside as well. And there's nothing special on the outside, so... So I'm just gonna destroy the entire corner. Like this. Why? Because I'm gonna recreate it with the mirror. Mirror, and then mirror this. There we go. So now I can just work on one side. And it's gonna reflect on all the sides. Okay, oh, oh, not, not only one side, but one quarter. That's the thing. Okay. It is kind of hard to see. Let's do another matcap. This one is a bit better. So yeah, as we can see, I don't need to use such a thick... such a thick ring anymore. There we go. But I'm also going to make a little better topology slightly. Okay, maybe I can connect these. Mm. Oh, this, this, and this. Two vertices removed. Okay, <laughs> it looks like it's, it's like it's broken or something. But yeah, I'm just trying to improve the shape of the window. <laughs> So that it can be thinner. All right, and then the external part. Yeah, it is still going to be okay. It is going to be a little, a little thinner like this, and this side as well. Okay, and I'm gonna make a ring. That goes towards the... Oh, what? Oh! I didn't kill these. <laughs> it's this part I want to change. Okay, yeah. Now I'm going to compress that, put it somewhere here, there we go. All right, oh, what is this thing we're doing here? So something like this, something like this, there is this one as well. Something like that. Okay, so we have a little pouch. For the window. A little bit of a bend. And our window 
looks much better. Can make it even a little thinner, a little more thinner. All right, there we go. Here's our porthole for the astronaut. Whoa! What the fuck is happening? I, I think the GPU just died or something. <laughs> I'm having really strange artifacts on the, on the screen. I've never seen anything like this. There's some kind of a purple thing going up and down. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you can't see it on, 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 the, on the stream. Whoa! Okay. I'm gonna take some photos of it. I may I think the GPU is dying. <laughs> right now. Okay, well it has stopped. This is extremely strange. <laughs> it looks normal, yeah. Well, on my screen it was like a purple, uh, like a fade going from the bottom to the top of the screen. Maybe that's the cause of all the hitches that I'm experiencing. Well, it's not happening right now, so I'm confused. Uh, I don't know if I should continue or try to restart or something. I mean, it seems to, it seems to not appear anymore. <laughs> so, okay, that's scary. That's scary. The scarier thing is that this is not my computer. <laughs> it's my friends who borrowed it to me until I fixed mine. Well, I have actually fixed mine. I'm just lazy to to move to the to my old computer because because of all the stuff that I need to move now uh, and this is not aligned I hope I'm not destroying his computer that's all Okay, so let's see. Yeah, what happens if I re re UV this? Whoa! <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's a beautiful hot spot. Oh, it's I know what it why it is. It is just because I was I was on a wrong hotspot. Sample hotspot. Okay, let's see what happens. It should be zero five. Okay, it still is broken here because it can it doesn't understand the circle. Oh, and this one. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Yeah, it is completely confused about the circle. So maybe I'm just going to manually unwrap that part. And I was like, oh yeah, I don't need to think about it. It's cool, but actually no. Uh, oh yeah, and I can't re-UV it because... Yeah, this is going to be hard. <laughs> Uh, because this is a mirrored structure. Okay, adding windows is hard. It's much harder than I thought. Okay, I'm gonna hotspot this. Yes, at least at least I want to have that. Okay, 
so yeah, you can have a clear look outside. Nice. Nice. Yeah, but still, it's kind of uh, it's kind of bent inside, and it looks terrible because of the thickness. Maybe Matrix needed to recompile some shaders. Yeah, true. Yeah, this looks awful. Wait, I need to... <laughs> I need to subdivide that. Join. Ooh, look at look at how big the gap is. Okay. Yeah, how do I make this bulge, this intrusion here <laughs> look good? I don't know. I have no idea. Maybe I can just keep it like this, I mean. Yeah, something like that. So now it's clear that, oh yeah, this one should definitely be up, up where the compartment ends. Hmm. How is it so different? Did I move this one? Uh, oh yeah, it looks like I did. Okay, yeah, now it makes sense. Okay, so I'm just gonna put it here. I'm gonna put this one on this edge. Is it the same one? Yeah, it is, it is. Good, okay. So, oh, this one needs to be right in between. Let's uh, dissolve. And I'm gonna resubdivide. Yeah, I should make another slice here. Let's do it like this. so that it's kind of similar, like on the top. Mark sharp. Cool, okay, yeah, something like that. Okay, maybe I don't need these. I can connect here. Uh, this one has a good slope. Okay, and now let's keep these. Okay. 
something like that. Make it similar to the top one. And then, oh, this one in the top one is actually here. All right. All right. So I'm going to make this one sharp. And uh, yeah, I'm going to make this one go in. Something like that. Still feels a lot broken. <laughs> Is everything on the correct? Oh, no, it's not. Okay, I accidentally put this one on the wrong one. On the wrong point. Okay, that seems to be slightly better. Yeah, maybe I can split the welds now. Like, this is one weld. This is another weld. Uh, this is another weld. Maybe like this. Okay. So I can UV this part. There we go. And can I... Yeah, let's UV this part. Uh, and what about this one? Hmm. It's trying to make it a quad, but it's not a quad. Ah. Uh. Why is this so big? Okay, maybe if I make it one scale. Okay. Okay, and you know what? I'm just going to take this one. And I'm going to unwrap. Let's project from view. Project from view. And now I'm going to just uh, rectify this part, this part, and this part. And now I'm going to take my whatever hotspot, test hotspot, example atlas. And let's put it somewhere reasonable, like here. There we go. No need to hotspot UV this one. Okay, <laughs> that looks way complicated. Way too complicated, but you know, I hope the astronauts are going to appreciate it. Um, so let's see. How does that look like? Not bad, not bad. Not bad. Okay. Cool. Okay. That one done. Uh, yeah, it is mirrored, but I want to actually first test it in game. Okay, let's go to the cupola. Uh, and let's reuse the same, <laughs> the same window for everything. 
Okay. Well, I'm gonna start with the top window. We'll just rescale everything and there we go. <laughs> Almost done. Nice, it actually fits the six sided six sidedness because it's twelve. Okay. Uh I am going to push this these two away. Whoops. Everything is merged, everything is good. Aha, uh -huh. yeah, the problem is that I have the window, the glass as well. Okay, there it is. Let's make it thinner. Something like that. Huge window. Okay. And now... Let's put it inside, something like that. I don't know if this is going to be enough. All right. And yeah, I am going to remove the insides. Yeah, um, I should actually use a different uh, a different thing here. I should use the one with tiny tiny nuts. Uh, yeah, why did I do this when I could have just UV unwrapped? Uh, example Atlas. I'm gonna use. Where is the nuts? Seals, seals, normal. Okay. Where are those tiny, 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 tiny? Ah, there they are. Okay, let's try this. How does that look like? Okay. I'm gonna put that on the inside. And then I'm gonna use for the outside. Actually, let's look at the reference. How does a cupola look like? I know it definitely has these tiny ones. Yeah, there it is. But the seal... By the way, did you know that the those windows are actually replaceable? You can actually replace them in space. <laughs> I didn't know that until I, I read about it. Uh, and the thing is that you can totally replace the windows from the inside. They don't do it on the outside. But the only thing they put is they put a special... Uh, they put a special uh, like a, like a cup on top of the cupola which is like vacuum sealed right so that you can take the whole take out the whole window and replace it with another one uh, all panes of glass so in case that there is like a there's a meteor strike or something it gets broken it's pretty fascinating uh, that they can do this. Yeah, hard to see the inside frame, but it seems that it's not that not that uh, thick. Maybe I should make one mine as well thinner. Um, Something like this, maybe.
Okay, and I think that this is way too thick for a window. Okay, so I can make it I can make it bigger now. Okay, and this should be zeroed out. Yeah, it would be good to make the whole structure a bit thinner. Because here's the thing, I was afraid that the light is going to leak. But <laughs> in case of a cupola, it's going to leak anyway. Uh, because it's so... It's so thin anyway. Uh, it's so, um, there are so many windows. There's so many intentional leaks anyway. So, but yeah, the thing is that the window should have a little bit of visible outside as well. Yeah, because of the cloth that covers it. Hmm. And yeah, let's also let's save that and let's make uh, yeah, let's make this uh, square window as well so that I'm going to fill up. So basically I'm going to have like two chamfers or something on the inside. Uh, let's see. How does that look like? You're gonna hit the window here. Bang, bang. Nice reflections. It's actually nice that it's a hexagonal thing in s with a with a ring. Maybe it's not bad like this. Yeah, maybe I don't need to make it thinner. I just need to fix the inside because this many gonal structure looks weird okay let's do a little a little window with a with a chamfer uh, so I'm gonna make it kind of like this Okay, let's try let's try to fit it inside here. Uh, yeah, let's actually work on on this one because that's the most that's the easiest one to work with. This is the curvature the slope I meant. Okay, and then. something like this let's do local coordinates it's much easier to work in in local coordinates only okay um, this is gonna be aligned whoops aligned here you can do that slightly bigger you know, I could have just take the, taken the inside, but no, I think I think this is better. Uh, okay. So, let's make sure that the proportions are kept of the window. Okay, I'm, I am actually going to align it perfectly with these sides.
Yeah, the shape of it, it's much... Oh, no, it's not much bigger than the real one. That is actually the shape. Interesting. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'm going to re remove this co complete... Total, totally remove the side. And instead, I'm just going to work on one side. It's easier. And let's make it approximately the same the same width as the main window okay so it's like something like this mm. Okay. Yeah, let's actually refine the shape before I do any chamfering. Can you actually bevel, bevel, bevel only certain outer shape profile? Why can't I just select certain certain points yeah that's that doesn't work okay uh, I'm gonna not do that okay let's try to overlap what did I select both of them okay uh, yeah let me cut in the middle and then do a mirror Not gonna be well. Just gonna mirror. Okay, so just like this, but slightly smaller. Okay, so something like that. We'll resize later if needed. Looks good. Okay, let's uh, bevel it a bit. Only these corners. And I'm gonna do it only twice. Uh, wait. Let's make sure that this is scale so that the bevel works correctly. Uh, and yeah, I should definitely do the outside as well. So I have this, 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 up, oh, this, and this. Well, twice. How does it look like in real life? Oh, it's actually a very, very small bevel. It's not, it's barely a thing like this. even smaller what about zero zero three zero zero three five now let's go with zero zero four all right so here's our bevel uh, 
Now I can isolate and work on the rest. I'm gonna remove that for now. Uh, cool. Okay, we have a window. We have a side. I'm gonna turn it into a seals. Seals. Okay. The outside. Uh, yeah, let's 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 dream you it, but with the seals. Okay, that didn't work. At least, ah, yes, of course it didn't work because this has a weird topology. Uh, no, I'm gonna do this. Uh, what is this? What is this? Okay, I'm gonna do a proper topology. Ah, this and this. Cool. Okay, and this one. This and this and this and this. And this and this and this and this and this. <laughs> okay, uh, let's hide everything behind. This doesn't exist. This doesn't exist. All of this exists. Good. And here. Good. Okay, hotspot still doesn't work. Uh, strangely, it doesn't do a hotspot of uh, of the whole thing. Does it understand that this is a seal? Okay, this still doesn't work. Strange. It doesn't. It doesn't do like this thing. Oh, now it does. So maybe I just need to turn it into a seam here. Now there, uh, well, not really. This one is terrible. Ah, uh, maybe there is a, uh, maybe something is off in these corners. Strange. Anyway, this one kind of works. So let's make it. Let's make it into that thing. There we go. But it needs to be a lot wider. Okay. Aha, it needs to be smooth. It needs to be smooth. Shade smooth. There we go. We have our nice window. Uh, let's also let's try to hotspot now if it's gonna turn it into one. Yes, and it even got it correctly. Cool. Cool. Okay, and what about what about this? Why doesn't this one work? Let's try to add mm. Yeah. Use inset. I don't know what use inset does. Okay, I'm going to have to do this one manually, I guess. I think this this bevel outside is not very good. It should be. It should be a lot smoother. Like this.
Okay, maybe now. Not yet. It doesn't realize that this is a single quad. Uh, like, not a single quad, but I mean... Okay, maybe like this. Whoops, not subdivide. What are you doing? Not subdividing. Uh, let's let's split it here. Okay, there we go. And this one is again incorrect. Maybe there is something here that I don't see that is getting in the way. No, everything is there. Okay, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna manipulate it myself. Oh shit, I actually fucked up. No, I lost my... <laughs> I lost my in inside. That was perfect. This one was just perfect. And then I fucked it up. Come on, come back. Okay, I'm gonna have to do it again. Uh, this one, this one, this one. There we go. Okay, make sure not to touch this one. The inside. All right, so uh, can I do like follow active quads? Follow active quads? No, follow active quads. No. Uh, unwrap. Follow active quads. Doesn't let me. Yeah, so this thing, this thing is only the problem. Uh, so let's I'll realign it. It's a good thing that it's only this one that's the problem and not the whole thing at least. All right. Oh, it's actually, it's actually the other way around. <laughs> okay, and this is way thinner. So I guess I'm, I'm just gonna have to do this myself, right? Okay, this one goes here. And this one goes <sighs> Can I can I somehow just unwrap this with uh Clear seams. Square fit unwrap. Okay, let's try if this is the one. Square fit. No. Blender unwrap. No. Square fit. No. How can I just do like a... I just want... I just want to do quads, like quad, 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 quad. I don't know. I thought that follow active quads does this. Oh, there it is. Okay, so it does actually work. Good. Oh, it maybe it didn't work because it wasn't... Uh... Okay, and now I want to quadrify. Now quadrify, which I don't have, but I, it should work with... Oh, I don't have UV tools. <laughs> okay so I'm just gonna do it automatically on my computer I have UV tools that has this I can't remember if the name is rectify or quadrify or something yeah there it is okay finally 
finally we have a frame there we go I don't know what what how how did this happen okay let's mark this seam mark this seam how come this doesn't get applied is this too much I think it is Or I should use the little the little ones. Ah, there they are, except that they're too small. Mmm, beautiful. Okay, let's mirror vertical. Yeah, maybe I should have kept it skewed. Very pretty. And this should definitely be a lot smaller. Something like this. These are completely screwed up. Looks good, looks good. It's a proper window. Oh, and I fucked up this one again. How do how do I keep how do I keep moving this one? I don't understand. Maybe I just accidentally moved it with the Okay. There we go. There we go. We have a nice cupola window. Uh, and now everything I what I can do is I can just copy this thing to the other side, flip it around put it here there we go oh and this thing let's keep it over there and there we go a nice window it's lacking glass but oh look at that looks way more professional suddenly Yeah, basically the outside. I want to see how it looks like on the outside. Can't really see. I don't have outside of ISS references. But I think this is good. 
It could even be a bit bigger. Could even be a bit bigger. Okay, let's see. Let's see how it looks like with other windows. Uh, I'm going to rotate this. Where is my axis rotator? Uh, helpers, hotspot, crown, rotate axis. Hatch crown, hatch crown, rotate axis. Okay. Mmm, this is not gonna work. This is not gonna work because it's uh Can I actually make it work? Okay, let's see. I'm gonna copy this. Cupola window rotate axis. So, I'm going to take the cupola, I'm going to say array, array, and I'm going to say object, object offset, the object is going to be rotate, window rotate axis, mm, yeah. So I want to put it in the same height. But yeah, the problem is that it won't work. Because it's already rotated. It looks crazy. This should actually be 30, I think. Yeah, well, yeah, it needs to be rotated in the same sense. So this won't work. Okay. And I don't, I don't want to apply rotation. That's the thing because I might change it. So what happens if I change this? Okay. Oh, it does actually rotate nicely. Okay. So here's the thing what I'm going to do. Ah, yeah. It's com it's even more complicated than I thought. Uh, Okay, so this one I need to move to here, but I need the ex exact location. So the reason why I want this is to be able to build the stuff in the inside. This is my only reason to do it. Okay, so I'm going to have to parent this. Parent this window to the axis, but it's going to be zero. Okay, let's parent. Mm, this is going to be the cupola window. Window cupola side.
Okay, let's put this also in here. Shift to parent. Okay, so now that I've parented, now I can move it. Okay, good. So I'm gonna take these, I'm gonna duplicate them. And just gonna move it like 60 degrees. There we go. Okay, cool. So, the only thing I need here is this thing by the way is the location absolute it is that's good hmm yeah let's prepare this for cutting uh, oof. This is going to be difficult. I'm going to have to like slice the whole thing. Maybe. Or maybe not. So I have these two points. Okay, I'm definitely going to cut that. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to repeat everything six times, I guess. Uh, let's push it in like this. All right. And there's going to be a little attachment here. This looks kind of good. Maybe it's going to be easier to like redo the whole thing. <coughs> yeah, this is why I think I'm going to have to split. Yeah, let's revert this. Let's not edit. Okay, instead of touching it, I'm going to just make a new th new frame. Oh fuck, this is going to be hard to even make a new thing. Ah, this is so complicated. Um, okay, well, first off, I want to split the inside. The problem is that the outside looks good. The outside looks good. The problem is the inside stinks. So, yeah, it is this. Let's split this from the main section of the cupola. Uh, and I'm going to hide that. 
Oh fuck, I went too far. <laughs> I split too much. I didn't want to actually split. Oh no, it is good. It is good. Okay. So yeah, what I actually want is I want to take this. I'm going to make a split that is close to here. Okay. And well, the problem is that it's the other way. Maybe I could have done it. Oh yeah, well, it's the same thing, so. I'm going to take this one. Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to copy these. I'm going to convert to mesh. And then I'm going to take only the outsides. Uh, I'm going to join these. Did that work? No. Join. Yeah, I'm going to take only these. And I'm going to isolate them. No, uh, let's select everything else. Destroy. Boom. OK, and now what I have is I've, I'm only left with the frames. And now these frames I can connect. Wow, yes. Oh, and I should have done this the same thing with the top. Look at that. That, that That's actually going to work. So here's my perfect inside, inside surface. Okay, and now with the top, hmm, it is colliding slightly. Let's destroy the helpers. Uh, why is it touching? Uh, it's not touching here because it's uh, overlapping. Yeah, maybe I can chamfer it a bit on the others on the uh, on. Wait, this actually the outside doesn't really matter. So I can just make it smaller. All right. There we go. It's not overlapping anymore, hopefully. No, it is close, but not overlapping. Okay, and now let me do the same thing with this. Uh, I'm going to make a very tiny extrusion. And I'm going to make a copy of this. Convert to mesh. Take the circle. Kill it. And now I'm going to join it with this thing. And now we have windows we have everything in between perfect perfect okay and now I can just simply 
Wait, how would this look like if it was rotated 15 degrees? Interesting. Maybe I should do it like th this way. Yeah, but can I actually... Uh, yeah, then that complicates a little bit of copying. Yeah, what will happen if I rotate the whole... the whole thing... by 15 degrees? No, it's actually going to be cool. <laughs> but let's unhide this. Hmm. Hmm. It's actually too thin here. Yeah, let's go with this. Let's go with the rotated. I'll suffer later. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, where is my... Where is my new thing? Let's hide this again. And there it is. So... I'll just go with the rotated. Okay, then I can collapse this. Yeah, why is there a split? Oh, there's a split because it's uh, because it's mirrored. Okay, well that's good. That's good. That's basically it. Well, this is basically it, except that I need to subdivide this join subdivide join and then I basically yeah I can take this I can take all the edges let's uh, merge take all the edges and now I just extrude down and now I have to join in with the hexagonal base somehow no with the circular base down here but that's for later right right now I'm just gonna delete everything that I don't need like this And like this. There you go. And now I have one sixth of the interior. Job done. <laughs> now I just need to rotate everything. Okay, so let's use the axis. Let's do an array. Uh, six times. And this is going to be object offset. Uh, let's do one of these parents. Okay, cupola root. Cupola. Cupola root. What is the name of it? Cupola window root. Uh, 
zero zero one but I'm gonna apply rotation uh, cupola window root all right <laughs> what's going on here maybe I need to put it at zero zero oh, why is this flipped Is it flipped? It is. Mm. This guy is rotated by 60 degrees. So why does this not rotate? Ah, I know why. Is there anything in the middle I can attach to? There's nothing in the middle. Okay, I can do this and then this. What? Wait, what am I editing? Okay, ah, I'm actually part of this parent. How do you unparent? Shift to unparent. Drop to clear parent. Okay. Okay, now everything is fucked. Yes, perfect. Perfect. Uh, no, actually, it is correct. It is correct. Uh, I just need to put it... What the hell happened? Okay, I just need to make sure that the origin is at the middle. There it is. Is it at the middle? Zero. Why is it not zero? Almost zero. Okay, there we go. Oh, this is incorrect. This is incorrect. Did I extrude incorrectly? Looks like I did. Okay, that's good. Nice, we have the insight. Finally, <laughs> this is taking way longer than I thought. But I can't just go to sleep without finishing this. Uh, okay, where is the main part of the cupola now? 
There it is. Okay, now the biggest challenge is to mix these two. Oh, no, 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 no. Th not this one, but this. These two. I keep being in this mode. I should be here. Yeah, and this actually varies over the whole thing. So yeah, uh, can I somehow just fake it? Just fake it. I could put it all the way down here. Okay, let's do another extrusion. And then I can try to do something like this. Okay, I'm gonna take the origin. And let's scale from origin, scale from 3D cursor. Come on, come on, which one is the right direction? Oh, there it is. <laughs> yeah, something like this. So it's like approximately a circle. But how can I make it look good? That's the problem. And I actually do need clearance in this in this case. Okay, let me unhide this one. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just remove the inside because that one is not used anymore. Uh, I can take the entire inside because it's uh, this one. And let's actually, f let's actually split it. Split selection. There we go. Okay, now I can actually unhide it with the rest. Why is the fov so... Mm. Okay. Oh, with this. Okay. So yeah, now I have the outside and I have the inside. And... Uh, 
yeah here is what I'm gonna do actually I'm gonna split this one into two mm, actually yeah let's do it like this and then I'm gonna push it oh shit I just realized there there's two there's two of them Okay, why is it not? Okay, approximately into a circle. Uh, yeah, I think it's not working because I need to also join this. Okay, oh, and then this one. Is gonna go under here. And this one is gonna go under here. Good. Good. So, almost. Almost got it. Nice, that's actually a nice circle. Except that this has a wrong, <laughs> has a different, uh, oh. I have an idea. <laughs> no, I don't have an idea. Here is what I'm gonna do. Here is what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna, compress this and I'm going to make a little shelf I'm going to make a little shelf that goes over and that's how I'm going to hide the seam uh, yeah can I actually push this one as well a little bit inside Okay. Okay, and then I have this thing. I have this thing. I'm going to extrude it a bit. And I'm going to extrude it again. Uh, whoops. And there we go. We have a little, sh we have like a little shelf. There we go. Except that we need to make sure that these things don't overlap the shelf Let's push this a little bit back. And here we go. Yeah, the problem is 
that this thing is overlapping as well. Yeah, I don't like the slope. That's the thing. Okay, well, we have a little bit of a problem because this shelf thing is now very thin. It requires a re hotspotting. Whoops. Let's not use that. Let's use a sample hotspot. And I'm just gonna select these. Hotspot that. Okay. Yeah, let me actually make a cut here. Mm, let's... Yeah, let's do a cut like this. And now I'm gonna put it up. And I'm gonna match these here. There we go. Yeah, much better now. All right. This is not going to be seals. This is going to be interior. So unnecessarily complicated. The shapes and everything. Okay. So uh yeah, let me let me also smooth. Let's see how that looks like when I smooth the whole thing. Uh-huh. This thing looks good. This part looks good. The the top part looks good. And then yeah, let's make this sharp. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Something like this. The shelf is weird. I'm going to push it up. Maybe I can make this sharp. No. No, this is actually good. Uh, and you know, I could have actually made this all the... Yeah. Okay, I didn't actually have to make the shelf. But this kind of looks cool. Okay, let's see. Let's redo the hotspots. Nice. Okay, much better. Much better. And where's my main window? It's missing. So how much can I actually see outside? Yeah, I can see. I can see a lot. That's good. Okay. That took way too long. But yeah, let's also let's push the whole interior thing down. The whole th shelf thing. Yeah, because I don't need this depth. Okay, and now I can extend this part. Mm 
down to the shelf. Looking good. Okay, let's make, let's fill this up with a glass. Oh, uh, this is mirrored. Maybe I should apply the mirror because, yeah, let's, oh, makes object single user. Uh, no. Let's not do that yet. Yeah, where is my window? Where is my big window? There it is. Okay, let's let's select all this. With the big window. Okay. Does it look any good? compared to the real one it looks okay these these windows are way more way smoother than the top one Okay, let's add glass into this one. Okay, now with the glass, looking good. I'm tripping if there's no mirror here or not, is there? Yes, there is, it's just the lighting makes it invisible. Okay, so do I combine everything here or do I combine in the... <laughs> in Godot.
Maybe this needs to be a little thicker. Okay. So let me just see how does the whole thing look like with Windows Copied. Cool, that looks really good. Ooh, I can't wait to see this in, in game. Wow, cool. I can even make the the this central thing a little bit bigger, but I think that's gonna be enough. Cool. Okay, can't wait to control some external things with from Cupola. Bang. Uh, okay, so let's let's test this in Godot. I'm gonna yeah. Let's actually move all of these with their children okay I'm gonna keep it as I'm gonna keep it like this okay save but I'm gonna move all of these into into non-export Where is the non-export? There it is. Don't export. Okay. So don't export cupola. Cupola sides. Window cupola. Oh, okay. This is the window. Okay, let's call it just cupola. Uh, frame. Int frame, something like that. And let's name that uh, cupola int int frame. The outsides. Yeah, I can actually merge it with the with the rest. Now remerge it. Join. Yeah. And yeah, let's keep this one separate in frame. Uh, and then the windows Don't export. Yeah, nothing exports except this one. Except the side one. Applied scale. Oh, this I need to apply scale. Good. Uh, in frame. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Okay, so basically I'm gonna just recreate the uh, everything else in, in game. I wonder if parenting is gonna work in Godot. Uh, okay, so what do we have? Uh, yeah, I need to make sure that window couple aside, all the meshes are called correctly. Uh, window couple at top, window couple aside. Uh, and then we have those little portholes here. Window. Window crew. control window 3m control uh, small But is it actually the same? I think it's the same mesh. I mean, it's not the same, but it should be the same. Okay, 3M control, cupola, cupola sides, 4M crew, Good. Okay, let's try exporting this. Hopefully everything works. Hopefully everything works out. And then I can uh, go to sleep. Uh, so, the only thing I did today is window frames and nothing else. I didn't know that it's gonna take me four hours to make them. I thought it's gonna be one hour at tops. But yeah, uh, cupola is complicated. That's the problem. Hopefully everything else is going to be a lot smoother. Uh, maybe I can try adding these tank frames quickly and radiators. Radiators are like super, super simple. Three hours later. <laughs> uh, okay, let's save this. I'm going to take everything and I'm going to say... Uh, window frames before export okay and I'm gonna take everything okay re-enable docking port uh, cupola what is this cupola this is the old one this is no longer in use so I'm just gonna keep it I'm just gonna put it in formerly export it okay export tube select I think that's all oh I should make them call as well shouldn't I shouldn't I but maybe I don't want to maybe I need uh, maybe I should define it separately Yeah, let's add call on this. Ah, let's add everywhere.
I save myself a few clicks with this. Okay, everything is cool. Everything is cool. Cool, 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 cool. Good. Save again. I'm gonna export. GLTF. Is everything unhidden? It is. GLTF. Art. Limb space. So here's the thing. I could actually merge this, but I'm not gonna. Yeah, let's not merge this. Uh, limb space. That's with materials. Wait, where was it? It was here. Art GLB tube. There we go. Okay, now. Oops, not material maker. Not material maker. Good though. Reimporting assets. Okay, nothing broke. Nothing broke. But the cupola broke. Okay, uh, let's go to tube. Okay, there are the windows. We have a nice window. Uh, okay, let's see. Meshes, actions. Set meshes to paths. Meshes. Select the current folder, tube window 3M control, 3M control small, window cupola top, window cupola side, tube cupola int frame, set paths, yes, all of these, nice. We export them. And, oh yeah, what about What about materials? I guess I'm not going to export it yet. All right, uh, so let's make a new scene. Uh, I'm going to drag in tube. And here is our window. Uh, let's make local. And here is a window cupola. Oh, why is the rotation not applied? Mm. <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe it does. Okay, let's actually apply it because I don't like, I don't like this. Uh, yeah, I did offset it by minus. Yeah, okay. Rotation. Let's re-export that. Let's see if it's going to export, uh, if it's going to update. Export tube, select objects, GLTF tube. Reimporting, there it is, it moved. But what I actually want to do is I want the rotation. Yeah, I need to actually, I'm going to redrop the tube tube in. Here we go. Uh, I wonder if we have the parent. Make local. Where's make local? Okay. 
Uh, yeah, we have the cupola. Let me parent everything under cupola. Cupola. Aha, there is the root. Okay. Uh, cupola. And this thing is also cupola. Is that everything? It is. Okay, cool. Yeah, we have the glass. So I can do this root turn it into like a prefab but yeah let's actually turn the window into Okay, that's one thing, and then I'm gonna save this as seen. Uh, okay, and now all I need to do is I just need to copy this and turn it all the way around. And there we go. And everything should be sealed perfectly with no gaps. Cool. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a child. <coughs> And uh, yeah, this static, the static body, let's not put it here. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna keep all this. Okay, top window, let's make it into, no, I don't need to. Do I, do I need to make it into a, okay, let's turn it into a prop, into a prefab, just in case. And we're going to turn this into a root thing and this frame as well. And now what I can do is I can take a copy of this and I can open my cupola. Okay, and I can simply copy that here. And there we go. We have all the stuff, all the inside stuff. There, let's just make sure that this is, this is the geometry, right? And this is not using some weird resource. No, this is the correct resource. Okay, good. Uh, and we have this int frame, which is not a copy. It's not a weird copy, no? No, okay. Cool. Uh, very good. Okay, and I have to redo the static body. So I'm going to kill this, and I'm going to make a new tree mesh. There it is. Good. Aha, we have this shelf as well. Nice. Very nice. There we go. Okay. So about the windows, 
for the other stuff we do have to make sure okay let's actually check the cupola in the main scene oh yeah there it is it has windows now we can look through it cool oh it has nice reflections and we can look at the stars yeah, the texel density of this frame is way bigger than than this one. I'm going to have to fix that. But yeah, let's add let's add the windows as well to everything else. So, these two windows Yeah, let's have a child node of node 3D and I'm going to take this thing, parent it to that one, hull tube porthole, there it is, okay, I can take and copy this window pivot and copy this and I can add it into my what's the name of it? crew no porthole There it is, and I have to redo the static mesh. Okay. And let's copy this to the other side. Went too far. Cool. Okay, we have the porthole. And what else do we have? We have the control windows the control windows which are here uh, so let's take this thing add a child controls right window control small call small control there it is K window windows pivot. Let's copy it and open control. Hull tube. Hull tube small control. Copy it here. That's it. And then also, I'm going to turn this into transform. Does it have a scale? Of course, it is strangely scaled. Okay, transform, I'm going to put it to the other side, and minus, there it is, perfect. And this thing could be a prefab as well, but I'm going to keep it like this. Uh, let's make sure that I update the mesh as well tree mesh okay yeah it is different actually cool okay that's it I think everything now works right those are the three modules that I had the portholes and nothing else there is a porthole 
Ooh, nice. Nice porthole. And how does it look like? Does it look weird? Okay, look. Let's let's launch this. I can't wait to see Windows in motion. Pyrxus, are you still there? <laughs> Finally. I doubt you are still there. Uh, I'm gonna go get, make some tea. All right, here we go. Let's uh, see the windows for the first time. Oh my God. <laughs> Look at that. Wow, it looks great. It's even shiny. Shining. Oh, wow. You can see so many more things. Yeah, you can not get as close, but this is great. I love the low poliness of it as well. With the uh, low poly plus super high resolution of everything. Uh, super high fidelity of, of graphics. Okay, now that looks like... Uh, so yeah, do we have... Yeah, this actually looks surprisingly natural, although there is a little bit of weirdness in the in the metal. I can see that. Uh. Yeah, you don't see much here, but if there was a craft there, docked, maybe it would be cool to actually see it in the beginning of the game. Like you are, you are here trying to sleep, and then you're like... Huh. I wonder if I should have the doors inside here or not. Then you can barge through the doors. The, our player is going to be able to figure that out. There's a little bit of wonkiness with the UVs here, but it doesn't really matter. Yeah, this is cool. Okay. So, let's go... Oh! Oh, more windows. More windows. Oh... So cool. Oh, I still haven't <laughs> rebuilt this uh, this collider. There's a little bit of weirdness going on. And there's something flickering. What is flickering? Ah, uh, there's an overlap. Hmm, I'm going to have to look into that. Uh, so this is the transition between the two, right? Yeah. Nice. This uh, this window actually looks like it's uh, <laughs> uh, like it's smaller than the portholes, you know. Because in real life, in real life, these are actually much smaller. These are much smaller. And then and then this one, the this one is actually used for as the main window for viewing at things, for viewing at Earth. Okay, and then we have tiny windows. Nice. What's going on here? Who is attacking me? Oh my god, the giant cube with the handrail. Okay, so yeah, you can grab onto the window as well. But yeah, uh, nice. Nice. Okay, let's see the the centerpiece. Woo! Let's see the cupola. Cupola reveal. Now I have to find it. Wait, where is it? There it is. First time ever. 
seeing cupola in its full glory oh i can't scroll in for this one and it's behind the door oh my god Whoa. look at that look at those windows this feels like the real one even the black on the inside the darkness why is it so dark uh, do the windows not let the maybe the windows block the lights oh yeah there's no there's no uh, okay that's strange <laughs> yeah the, the windows definitely block the light the glass I mean but yeah here you can see the the weird shelf that I was working on until now wow that's amazing finally after all this time I can look through the cupola and I can't really go that far high because of the glass <laughs> now the glass is in the way so yeah actually you don't see that much I can't use cupola as like a <laughs> as like a thing that to exit from anymore maybe I can move the glass up a bit you know just to have just so I can put my head a little bit higher so that I can see stuff over there beautiful beautiful yeah the thing is I, I need more stuff on top of the station like solar panels and stuff to the, so to make the view out of cupola amazing but yeah pretty amazing that we finally have windows Yeah, maybe I should make this uh, this a little bit bigger. Uh, now, now it's actually hard to get out of the station. Oh yeah, I can go out through here. I just want to see. Uh, oh, this is. Oh yeah, let's actually see it from the upper uh, module over here, right? This is the main module. This is the main module too. No, wait, what? Is this the same one I came from? This, oh yeah there it is this is the main module but completely oh my god look at that look at those beautiful windows they look like binoculars cool nice lighting nice bounce light but I think that the windows don't let through any any uh, any sunlight so I'm gonna have to fix that there there is the cupola nice let's see through the big window wow looks amazing yeah job well done job well done looks great uh, yeah and that's it and now there are also portholes here mm, yeah the 
Oh yeah, right. The skylight, the sunlight no longer gets in through, through here. So yeah. I need to fix that. Okay. Let's fix it. Uh, I need to open the windows. <laughs> open the windows. Okay, let's find all the sn. Let's see. What is exactly going on here? Shadow mesh. Uh, shadow mesh. How can you actually make sure the window doesn't let through the glass shading diffuse transparency Does it mean that I need to render glass, that I need to separate glass into separate objects? Oh, fuck. <laughs> uh. Shadows. Disable receive shadows. If true, the object receives no shadow that would otherwise be cast into shadow to opacity if true enables the shadow to opacity render mode where lighting modifies the alpha so shadowed areas are opaque and non shadow areas are transparent okay Okay, I have to research this. All right. Uh, I'm back. Uh, Ludo Gramming, uh, random comment, but I love library of Glabber, Blabber uh, in terminal. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, that was random, yes. <laughs> I sometimes forget that I made I made those things like uh, yeah, but thank you. Mm. That felt like ages ago. Even in terminal feels like ages ago. Uh, yeah, let's see. Let's see what did they say. Godot transparent object shadow. How to make have shadow either shadowed drop shadow and transparent I was able to solve this issue by setting the floor spatial property under flags 
use shadow to opacity. Okay, let me actually make this glass window. Can I select it? Yeah, obviously the shadow mesh. I don't want the shadow mesh. Yeah, I played from a long time ago and now ended up here by accident. Oh, cool. Yeah. Shadows. Sable shadow. How to stop light from casting shadows. Okay, so I'm guessing, oh no, I'm guessing I have to make that per object. Why are there two shadow meshes? Shadow, me why is there sh two shadow meshes? What the fuck? Wait, a shadow mesh can have a shadow mesh. Ah, cursed shadow. Off. Does it remove the shadow mesh? Okay, so. I guess that's a thing that you put on the whole object. Okay, let's keep that for now. Yes, I'm gonna have to tell it to not cast shadows. Okay, let's see, let's see main now. There it is. We have some light inside.
Let's uh, make this one also not cast shadows. Oh, I don't have the other one. This one is called porthole. Okay, porthole window. I didn't make it. Uh huh. Window for M crew pivots. Okay, now let's get into this and say this should not cast shadows of and this should not cast shadows. All right, let's try the game now without shadows. Mm. There we go. We have some nice skylight. Sunlight. I keep saying skylight. Cool. Okay, that works. Let's try the cupola. All right. Here we are. We have some. We have some light inside now. Perfect. Yeah, it still is to completely black. That's strange. Maybe it's because of the metal. Really cool. Yeah, too bad. <laughs> I'm hitting my head. Boom, I would really love to see a lot more here. Maybe I can fake like collision or something to make myself a little bit more like you can, s you know, scratch, scratch the top, just move a little bit more.
Yeah, oh yeah. I also forgot to add uh, the. You know what? Let's turn this in. Let's turn the cupola into a scene. Module cupola. That is going to be a lot easier to work with. Wait, why is this offset? Fuck. Yeah, this is the this is a mistake I made. Uh, okay. Yeah, let's actually move this. Reset. Reset. Yeah. Actually, it's just, just these two things. That's good. Okay, and let's reset the whole thing. And what did I want to do? I wanted... I forgot what I wanted to do. I wanted to fake collision. It's one thing. Ah, I wanted to add um, a reflection probe. There we go. And of course, okay, let's make this two seventy five by two seventy five by two seventy five. And yeah, I can sort of do this. And it's an interior. Right? Okay. Something like that. <laughs> and of course that it moved. I knew it. Okay, let's reposition it. There we go. And it changes. Well, not really. No.
Okay, well, let's call the window frames over. Oh yeah, I added the bulge and I completely forgot about the bulge. Maybe this really is about reflection probes, like there's too many of them or something. You know what? I can actually just move the... I can totally just move the collision. Static body. Slightly. Slightly. Just so I can put my head in. Yeah, this is not good because <laughs> it's gonna think that It's wrong. Okay. Let me just test this. Uh, oh. But actually, that's not the problem. The problem is the uh, collision of the window. So, yeah. Reset this. Instead... I should change this. Let's try now. Uh, let me move the player to the cupola so I don't have to go back all the time. Okay, yeah, I can see much more when my head is against, well, yeah, the, the frame is still super thick, but this is nice.
Okay, and then I can manipulate things here with the computer. By the way, what happens if I change the sun? Right? I should be able to change the sun. Yeah. I wonder how it looks like when you put like a, a something inside a cupola. Can I even can I even move this through? This would be fun. Actually, 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 it's totally possible. But now I need to figure out what's the size cupola is down.
There we go. Okay. <laughs> now let's go to the oh fuck don't don't kick it. Let's go to the other room. Damn it, I don't know where it is. Uh Wait, I'm confused. <laughs> this is up. This is up. Okay. This is the main room is over there. So my other thing is over there. Okay. Yeah, here is the main module. There's the box. <laughs> Jammed inside the cupola. Nice. Hmm. Cool. Let's see the cupola from the outside for the first time. Looks good. I should remove these uh, orange seals on the outside of the. Can't see anything reflected. Would expect that to be able to see something at least. Yeah, I'm flying away. I have a feeling the reflection probes are the culprit for such a long, such a bad performance. Even though they're not in like... They're not real time updated. Oh, 
let's try to remove them temporarily. Please don't crash. Please don't crash. <laughs> What's going on? It has stopped working. Okay, let me submit everything. Okay. Windows in game. Cupola is amazing. Still nothing. Uh, looks like the interface has died. Like it has, everything is frozen. Okay, project settings work except for this main screen. Okay, yeah, I forgot about the new part that I have, the bulge. Did I actually save the bulge? No, I haven't. Okay. Let's make a new scene. Yeah, I actually wanted to test if I can remove all the reflection probes. So that's most of reflection probes removed. Let's try now. Okay. Ah, there's still 
There's still stuff happening. No, something else is the problem, for sure. What the hell? What happens? Uh, I don't know. Anyway. Um, anyway. Did I want... Oh yeah, I wanted to do the bulk... The bulge. Okay, we have the bulge. Um, and did I actually save the two M's? No. So yeah, I have the two M and the two M port. Kill the transform, make a static mesh. Why does it get named like this? Hull 2M. Okay, and now I can make a thing. No, not found. What are you talking about? Is this the docking port? The docking... Uh this guy, he never sleep. Yeah. I'm going to go to sleep. Soon. Soon.
Yeah, this seems more realistic, but I don't want to stretch. Full adapt port. Uh, yeah, I am actually going to add a docking port here. What? Ah, yes. This is only the bottom. Uh, oh, fuck. I didn't think this is wrong. Where is the pivot of this? Interior. Interiors. <laughs> yeah, I didn't move the pivot down. Whoops. Okay, needs to be here. Should this be pointing down or up? Down. Okay. Uh, yeah, my mistake. Uh, warning, couldn't find a good reason that you should still be awake. Parody of the warning, that just appeared. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if this one can even open. <laughs> um, okay, I have to re-export this, the whole thing, just because of this one part that I falsely exported. How old docking port?
and w when we since I'm here already let's make a one meter high version Okay, and this is going to be 2ms. Just call it short. Do I have any other short things? Yeah, I do have short things. Okay, let's call it short. And this I'm gonna also call short without zero zero one. And the mesh. Whoops! What have I done? Uh, and the mesh should be called. Short short Okay. Export GLTF tube reimporting. What? Did I forget to save the interiors? Probably. Okay, there it is. Now, now, now it's unbroke. All right, and now we have. What else do we have? We have. Uh, short tube to m short
Okay. So, let's replace this with a short one. Weird, there is a weird gap. Ah, this isn't exactly in the... Okay. Module short. Okay, let's try this new module. And we also have the bulge to test. Okay, I'm gonna put it as a spacer between my cargo module. Hmm. Strange that it doesn't fit. Oh. Look at this guy. No. It's not this guy, it's this guy. Not being exactly here. Okay. 
and then I have this here Let me use wrinkled cloth on this. Okay, and yeah, let's add the bulge, and then we're going to test everything. Oh yeah, it already exists, okay. Mm, I'm going to put it somewhere. Hmm. Inherited or not to inherit it? Okay, let's add the bulge here.
Let's call it science module. Okay. Sleep we meant it. It's for the Yeah. Okay. Well I just wanted to see how this uh, bulge looks like in the station, but then that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, and I wanted to just see how the docking So yeah, one more one more time to play. No more uh no more exports that's it what we have so uh yeah <laughs> i've done only one thing today totally not what i planned totally not what i planned oh and uh did it just crash no, but it's working like total crap and I have no idea why.
Okay. Here we go. After this, I sleep. I think I'm going to take a break from streaming. Uh, I don't need to make everything on stream, you know. Because this one was... Yeah, this one was pretty boring. Uh, I don't know. There's a lot of little things to do now. And not a lot of things is, is interesting. Uh, yeah. What did I want to do? Yeah, no, it's not here. It's... Uh, Uh, oh, no, this is the forward. But I wanted to go into here. This is the new science science module. Yeah, it has three two meter segments and it has an open hatch at the end. Uh, yeah, this is the bulge. This is the new part. Looks good. Okay, so that's one thing. Another thing that I wanted to check is the docking module which is over here now here it is okay and it has this port okay Okay, we can pass, we can pass through. It can kind of open. Kind of. And then we have two. <laughs> two of the same hatches, which is incompatible. And then we have the cargo module. Let's look, let's have a final look through the cupola. Okay, how much can we see? The craft approaching. Yeah, yeah, we can see now, but we don't see the docking, unfortunately, the docking probe. I'm going to have some kind of a camera. I won't go with her to monitor it. Uh, the areas with many hatches look so cluttered. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's the point. 
Let me put one light inside the uh, inside this light, this thing. Yeah, in this one, we can put a bulb inside here. wrong placement <laughs> it's gonna be a problem with the hatch here okay I have to move it to the other side then Okay, just want to see it with light and then I'm gone.
Oh, wait, where is it? <laughs> oh, it's this one. Nice. Mmm. That texture is amazing. Okay, I think that's it. I've done the thing that I wanted today to do for today. Nice, uh, nice bulkhead. Oh, shiny. Yeah, I'm gonna leave this uh, a green thing inside the green tarp because it just looks so cool. This thing. Yeah, I need to change one of these to be uh, to be a cone. Well, this needs to be a cone. Oh, why is this one so lit? going on strange it's just like some light leaking here Oh, nice. You can now see the bulge <laughs> from outside. Yeah, maybe there's going to be a the spacecraft. Then you go out. Stuff happens here. Lost it. Cool. Okay. 
Well, I don't know if I'm going to continue tomorrow. I'm not sure. Uh, there, I just flew away from the station. Uh, I don't know, I might make a break from streaming a few days. <laughs> What's going to be the next thing that I'm going to do? Um, yeah, I want to start making the spacecraft. But I also, there are interaction stuff that I want to do. Like punching buttons and controlling a computer. That looks cool. Okay. That's it. Um, I'm, I've never been this far from the station in my life. Should have brought the fire extinguisher next time. Okay, well, look. Uh, good night. And uh, I don't know. I don't know if when I when I when I will continue. Uh, I I have other stuff in life. <laughs> than streaming. So, but yeah, let me actually look at the to do. Yeah, I want to implement like a little computer that you can control. And uh, yeah, well, <laughs> I don't know. I need to, you know, I, I have an idea and then I'm like, this is a tiny game. And then it turns out that, nope, it's not a tiny game at all. Portable lights. Oh, look at that. So many models to make. I have to rethink about my script. Uh, because I have... I have full game in my mind and I actually have it in a in a text document here uh, <laughs> that I want to what I want to do and I load, wrote a little script a dialogue between two astronauts and there's like five objectives you have and then the game ends uh, but yeah all, all that requires this to be done first uh, make cupola have a better view done I've actually just chamfered the box add window seals done finally this is just like a s small thing but turns out that that was the most complicated thing uh, hatch clearance 3M port adapter 3M port 
I think that's done. And three poor. Why is there two of them? <laughs> Just the same thing. Okay, I think that's done. Uh, cupola. Yeah, remove rim polis. Split all hulls, internal and external tube. Done. Remove rim. Uh, I'm gonna cancel that. Glass for windows. Uh, oh yeah, that's the hotspots. Solar panels not. Um, should be denser. Radiator, reddish interior panel, panel, exterior hull plates. Seal smile. Docking latches. Yeah, I'm missing docking latches, but it's not really necessary. And plastic bits. Yeah, that's actually, I'm gonna skip that. Change internal material. Uh, done. <coughs> Nogging port. Reduce the ground to add a little bit more clearance between cuts. <coughs> yeah, I need to do docking first. Cargo craft. Uh, crew compartment door. I haven't done that. Make both sides have a sleeping compartment. Done. Extend it a bit. Uh, straight 4M to port adapter wall. Extend it a bit so the entire hatch can fit. Done. I've done that a few days ago. Should have toolbox on the side and space for opening the hatch. Space for opening the hatch is done. Toolbox not done. External props, solar panels, radiators, not yet done. Antennas, external handrails. Cargo canisters. Those I could do easily. yeah okay everything else well we have like half done <laughs> S surprisingly dogging ports dogging ports are kind of done hey closing and opening catch is done all parts made of convex bodies working probe extending not yet pressure simulation not working uh, raycast body is handrail. Oh yeah, this is done. Raycast body done. Item held. RMB. Z to drop. The frigid body R to rotate. I have done that. Oh. Hey. Move the light for jamming the catch. I did that. Reorganize players, put it in a separate scene. Oh yeah, I wanted to do that a long time ago.
Yeah. I think that's it. All right. So all of these <laughs> moved from the next stream. Classic. Yeah, I think the next one is going to be only about solar panels. So these are going to be all pushed for the future. All right, that's it. Definitely. Uh, good night. Good night, everyone. Uh, see you on some future stream. I don't know when. Uh, I might not be tomorrow. Bye.